Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Okay, welcome to the episode. Uh, My name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a nutritional pharmacist. I also happen to be the scientific director over here at Invite Health, which implies we have a scientific department, which we do. It's made up of naturopathic physicians, registered dietitians, clinical nutritionists, and several of us are pharmacist nutritionists. And by the way, let me give you an email address if you ever want to discuss your health with them. Uh, This email address, we put five of our nutritionists on, so you get a quick reply, nutrition at invitehealth.com. Today we're discussing uh, the many benefits for the brain of two nutrients that work together. There's a big impact when you use these two nutrients together. They're natural to your brain. They're abbreviated ALCAR or ALA, two different nutrients, ALCAR and ALA. ALCAR stands for acetyl L-carnitine. The brain loves this stuff. Uh, The other one is ALA, which stands for alpha lipoic acid. And they're involved with energy production, but they're involved with so much more than that. Just a side benefit. They function with energy production throughout your entire body. And you'll see that older people, like people in their 50s and 60s, they're losing strength, they're losing muscle, they're gaining fat. Alcar with ALA help reverse that, literally. They help transfer fat molecules, you don't want that fat sitting on your belly, uh, into energy that you can use in your muscles. And research indicates that you can lose about 8 to 10 pounds of fat and trade that and gain about 8 to 10 pounds of muscle. Not a bad thing for an aging body. So Alcar and ALA belong in your brain, but their activity declines with age. And a great deal of research shows that when you take them as a supplement, you make up for that. You reverse that trend. And when you're using them together, it amplifies the benefits of either. They work so much better together. It's a real total synergism. Synergism means it's not just an additive effect. Additive means one and one equals two, but it's multiplied manifold the benefits. So Alcar um, and ALA slow down aging of the brain. They slow down the loss of memory. In fact, they help restore memory. They're very safe. They're very safe to replace. There's been many studies either using them individually or using them together. So first off, I'm going to use some technical words, but right away I'll explain what I'm talking about. But I think it makes sense if I do that. Alcar and ALA create something called acetylcoenzyme A out of your food. And that's unbelievably important. When you take biochemistry, that's like in the first semester. When you eat fats and proteins and carbohydrates, the fats could be an olive, an avocado. The protein could be salmon or chicken. Uh, The carbohydrates could be a sweet potato or peas or whatever. Um, The ingredients go through different pathways to wind up as something called acetylcoenzyme A. So a certain amount of each food winds up as acetylcoenzyme A. You need the ALA to make acetylcoenzyme A. It's very important for the creation of of this energy molecule. And then, this molecule, by the way, is currency for energy. And then the Alcar shuttles that into your cell But not just to any part of your cell, it brings it into the power plant of the cell where you release and create energy. It's called the mitochondria. So the ALA allows you to create acetylcoenzyme A, and the Alcar shuttles it into the cell. And that gives your brain energy, because energy production dwindles with age. In fact, Alcar directly creates energy in the brain. Alcar is actually a neurotransmitter. A neurotransmitter is one of these tiny molecules in the brain 
that have a profound effect making the brain work properly. For instance, serotonin is a, a neurotransmitter that controls your appetite, but also gets rid of depression, also gets rid of anxiety. And if there's problems with it, you could wind up with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Uh, another one is norepinephrine. It helps you focus on things. And then there's acetylcholine for, your, for learning and memory. GABA to calm down the brain. These are all different neurotransmitters. You've heard of dopamine. That's another neurotransmitter. Well, this particular neurotransmitter, Alcar, creates brain energy. It's directly responsible for brain energy. But it does a lot more than that. Because it also allows the brain to restore metabolism when you're aging. Uh, when you're aging, um, it gets harder and harder to use sugar for energy in the brain. The brain's primary source of energy is not fats or protein. That would be a secondary source of energy. The primary source of energy that the brain depends on is sugars. But with age, it gets harder and harder to utilize sugar for energy. And sometimes instead of creating energy, the brain creates something called methylglyoxal, which is a toxin in the brain. And then that increases lactic acid levels and acids in the brain slow down the brain and they accelerate aging of the brain and shrinkage of the brain and loss of brain functions. So when you take the Alcar, you're restoring the ability of the brain to use sugar for energy. You're clearing out acids. You're helping prevent the formation of a toxin called methylglyoxal. It's all good. But there's a second way that it improves brain energy. There are cells in the brain called microglia that do many functions in the brain. One of the things they do is they feed your neurons energy through the process of ketones, ketosis. Alcar allows the brain cells, the microglia, to create ketones and feed them to aging brain cells. Now, that's really important for someone who has maybe the start of dementia. They don't use sugar well. In fact, some researchers are calling Alzheimer's disease diabetes of the brain. Well, Alcar allows the brain cell to use sugar, but Alcar also allows the brain cell to use ketones. So there's multiple levels where Alcar reinstitutes energy production in the brain, not to mention that Alcar is also responsible for creating something in the brain called glutamate, glutamine, and GABA. These are three neurotransmitters. Uh, glutamate in the brain is excitatory. It wakes the brain up and makes it active. GABA in the brain is neuroinhibitory. It, it calms the brain down. And they work in a cycle so you don't get overexcited or you're not walking around sleepy. So they balance each other. Glutamine, the other one, can go either way. It could go to a whole bunch of different neurotransmitters in the brain. So Alcar also allows the brain to create these and shuttle these. The brain makes these in the space between the neurons, in the space between the nerve cells. It's called a synapse. And that's where the messages come out in the brain. That's how the brain functions. That allows the brain to work normally. So um, one thing that Alcar and ALA do is allow you to create acetylcoenzyme A out of your food, and that's energy for the brain. They also allow the brain to use ketones for energy in certain situations. But they do something else too. They create um, a very important molecule called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine. That's unbelievable. Acetylcholine interacts with GABA and glutamate to learn something. So if you want to learn a new chord on your guitar or how to fix a more modern car engine or how to putt in golf, you need these three to interact. GABA relaxes the neuron so it opens up. Um, acetylcholine shoves the message in there and glutamate gives the energy to do all that. So acetylcholine is what allows you to get new information, learn, but acetylcholine is also what allows you to remember information, like who you t went to the prom with in high school, or who was your favorite teacher in third grade, or what was the name of your, what, what kind of car did you have, your first car, or, you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Or where do you park your car in the mall, or how to get back on the highway because you got off the wrong exit. Acetylcholine is involved with all of these. So Alcar donates an acetyl group to a B vitamin called choline, it allows you to make acetylcholine, which is the memory neurotransmitter. Acetylcholine levels drop with age, and as they drop, the brain can shrink. You develop mild cognitive impairment, or even worse, you go into Alzheimer's disease. 
with Alzheimer's disease, there's basically very little acetylcholine, so they give you drugs to bring the acetylcholine back. So that shows you how important acetylcholine is and how dominant it is for your memory. So acetylcholine allows you to learn, and it allows you to remember. It also allows you to solve problems, so it's involved with reasoning. But it also arouses you, like you can't wake up in the morning without acetylcholine be being released in the brain. It also motivates you. For you to get off the couch and go do something at work, that's acetylcholine. It's also problem-solving skills. You got off the highway at the wrong exit, how do you get back on and get where you're going? It also repairs your brain. Without acetylcholine, you can't repay your neurons, and you're losing a lot of neurons. So let me tell you something else that alcohol with ALA do for your brain. Remember I spoke about acetylcoenzyme A that you make out of food for brain energy before we discussed acetylcholine? Well, at night, that makes melatonin. So I was wondering why I gave people Alcar with ALA in the daytime to improve their daytime energy, their brain energy, but at night they were sleeping better. Now I know why. <laughs> so in the daytime, Alcar with ALA is driving energy utilization in the brain. So it's rolling back the clock on an aging brain because metabolism, the utilization of energy in the brain, declines with age. So we're restoring youthfulness to the brain. And this, of course, gives you the energy for memory and repairing the brain, detoxifying the brain, rebuilding the brain, repairing the brain. Then, of course, you're making the acetylcholine for your memory and for your motivation and for learning. At night, you're allowed to make melatonin because you need the ALA from the alcohol with ALA to create melatonin. So we're doing an awful lot for the brain. ALA, the alpha lipoic acid molecule, also creates a master antioxidant in your brain. There's three powerful antioxidant enzyme systems in your brain. There's catalase that breaks down peroxides. There's superoxide dismutase that protects you from singlet oxygen. And there's glutathione peroxidase that also helps break down peroxide. So let me explain what that's all about. A byproduct of energy utilization is the formation of peroxides. And peroxides in the brain can damage the fats. Your brain is about 60% fat. So the, the peroxides that are released during the utilization of energy in the brain, and because the brain is high energy, there's a lot of peroxides generated, they could damage the lipids, the fats in your brain. This is very destructive. When you hit your 50s, your antioxidant levels start to decline in the brain which means there's nothing to snuff out the free radicals that are generated by, by energy production that cause the peroxidation of fats. Okay, I, I'm sorry, getting a little technical here. But when you get the ALA, you restore glutathione production, that's a powerful defender of your brain. You're reinstilling antioxidant protection in an aging brain. This is very important once you hit about 55 or 57. It's also extremely important for every diabetic, every smoker, anybody who lives in pollution. Because all the little pollutants that you inhale that come out of trucks and buses, etc., they get into your brain. They inflame the brain. So you need your glutathione. So ALA creates glutathione. But there's two other things going on with Alcar with ALA. Alcar stimulates the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Um, a Harvard uh, neurologist called that... Um, Miracle grow for your brain. A Harvard neurologist coined the term miracle grow for your brain. Brain derived neurotrophic factor is abbreviated BDNF. B, B is in boy, D is in David, N is in Nellie, F is in Frank. Young people release it in abundance at night when they go into deep sleep. It's called delta wave sleep or non REM sleep. And what it does, it recreates um, memory cells. It takes the stem cells. Uh, the stromal stem cells and converts them into memory cells. And this happens in parts of the brain involved with memory and judgment and problem solving and knowing where you are. So that could be the dentate gyrus, the hippocampus, the interrenal cortex. So at night, when a young person releases BDNF, miracle growth for the brain, they create about 700 new memory cells. That's important because they lost memory cells during the daytime. They have to replace them. By the time you're about 50, you've replaced all of your original memory cells from when you, when you were a kid. So that shows you how significant that is. 
The problem is, in your 50s and 60s, you're releasing a lot less brain-derived neurotrophic factor. So now you're replacing fewer and fewer of the memory cells that you're losing. So eventually, there's going to be a tipping point where you can't make up for the loss and you're starting to lose memory. Alcar, the uh, part of the Alcar with ALA, restores the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And at night, you're going to make more memory cells. You're going to generate the formation of more memory cells than a person typically in your age group. It will function to help your memory. Now, the last thing I'm going to say about it is it's anti-apoptotic. Apoptosis means cell death. You don't want... Um, <laughs> there's accelerated cell death in the brain for many reasons in our 50s, 60s, 70s. Alcar helps to stymie that. So there's so many different benefits for your brain out of the Alcar with ALA, which we'll review at the end of this episode. In fact, what I better do now, I better wrap this up as part one of the episode because I want to go into some of the studies, and that'll take a little time. So thank you for tuning into the Invite Health Podcast. You can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or by visiting invitehealth.com forward slash podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to our uh, podcast. Please leave us a review. And you can also follow us on all those social media things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Invite Health. We'll see you next time on another episode of the Invite Health Podcast. Thank you for listening. Music.